What is up guys? Coming to you from Northern Maine. Just left the Telos Road and hoping to meet up with my moose hunting party. My good buddy Jeff Osborne got drawn. I think this is his third time. He's already shot two monster bulls with a bow and arrow. And hopefully this week we get into his third one with a bow and arrow. Gonna be just four of us on this hunt. It's gonna be Jeffrey, his dad, and his wife, and I. I am super excited to hunt with these guys. Jeff and his dad are two of the best hunters I know. They spend a lot of time around moose and with moose and calling moose and looking for moose antlers and following moose in the spring, following them in the summer, following them in the fall, calling them in. So I'm about to learn a pile of knowledge from these guys. I'm going to have an absolute blast with them. They're some of the best people I've ever met, Sarah included, and I'm really excited to get on this hunt. Come along guys, who knows what's going to happen. Weather-wise, we're supposed to start getting into some chilly mornings, maybe some frost in the mornings, and I think we got like one rain day coming, uh, maybe tomorrow, and then after that it's supposed to clear up and be kind of frosty, so we're looking to call this moose in. We're looking, we have a bull permit for zone four in Maine. All right. I found the camp, dropped off the trailer, and I'm gonna go for a little ride. Go look for some birds, go look for some moose. Maybe see what's around this area for fur. I'm gonna be trapping north of here by a couple hours. So it's not an area that I would do any trapping or anything, but anytime you're in the woods or can make yourself a better outdoorsman, you know, don't, don't pass up on an opportunity. It's gonna be a really good hunt. Um, I'm gonna learn a lot. Maybe you'll learn a lot. Maybe you guys know a lot, maybe you don't. But the cool thing about this channel is as I'm always trying to share knowledge that I either gain from experience or that I gain from other people's experience. And I'm with two of the best that I know um, as far as moose and moose hunting go. So that's the plan, guys. Hope you like this type of stuff. If you do, stick around this fall because the channel is going to be doing quite a bit more hunting and getting into trapping season coming up. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. I just hit the record button when you guys hit slap hands. Oh, really? I missed the whole thing. I was pointing right at it. Yeah, good practice. Get that out of the way. Oh, you had four points? Yeah. At least on, he had a four for his left. I don't know if right. What do you think he scored? Eight? Um, maybe... 24. 24? Yeah. I'm looking for something like 25 around. Yeah. No one hit record anyway, but. Right? I'd wait until it was over. <laughs> that was awesome. We should film it next time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it again?
dead in this way. It's looking this way, see it? On the left. It's not good to draw. I drew on. I'm gonna put my 60 right on the shoulder. I was starting to walk up. I saw you draw, and I was like, whoa, I stopped. I was like, <laughs> something must have changed. No, no. no. Practice is practice. <laughs> well, two bulls already. Two bulls is nine. On yeah. That one was smaller than the first one. He was. Yeah. You oh, caught his no. attention there, and he turned and faced you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's nice about that. Be cool. Yeah. Once you close that, yeah. What's your um, what's your long yardage gonna be for a, for a bull? I'd shoot out to seventy. Whoa, nice! Yeah. I could put my sixty right on his back and place one in there. Nice. Well, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was super yeah. awesome. Yeah. So two moose already. Two moose. Yeah. Now we're into we it. Almost fell right by that one. Yeah. I would have. Yeah. Thought, it looked really it looked more was... moosey than that. That's why I was like, I gotta look to the binoculars. Yeah. And then I saw it's gray on its leg and like that. But that's a moose. Yeah. I thought it was a calf. I knew it was small. Yeah. yeah. So cool. That's cool. Hey, that we're doing it. Getting the activity. I was driving Gretchen. Yeah. That was? You did great. Like, do a little bit more hip next time, you know, get the hip out there. Gretchen's hips. Not real. Take it down in the state. Huh? It, down in the state. it might be now. Yeah, because the, the biggest one died a couple of years ago down in Biddeford, oh, I think. Oh, next to a church or something? Yeah. 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 So, oh, that was on your shoulder. Yeah. That's why I'm far. You really got to stand next to this tree to get to understand how I know, big it I is. I took a picture of it up like that. Yeah. That was cool. I should have it measured. Yeah. You guys know how to measure them. Now. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Can you take a picture of me? Of course. My phone's in the trash. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, wow, was that close. Day one recap. Oh, crooked. There we go. <laughs> Something was crooked. Day one recap. We had an awesome day. Saw a bunch of birds. Missed a couple birds. And uh, <laughs> saw a couple of young bulls, small bulls. One was like a fork horn bull and then a little spiker. Um, but good to get excited. So day two, we got a good wind. It's going to be a little windy today, so calling's going to be tough. But uh, we're going into a spot where we got a a giant and then a couple other good bulls so it's a long winter road system we got nothing but time so is this the big, the biggest number one bull this is the number one bull yeah, yeah. big big fella yeah not real wide but he i mean he could surprise us in his width but he's got just super super long palms great big body just a huge huge animal sweet yeah we'll see if we can get him fired up nice Good day. Just maybe tomorrow, maybe this afternoon. Lunch. Lunch. How are we feeling? I feel good. I don't. Um, my my trophy quality has gone down a smidge. I think today. Everybody gets a trophy. Yeah. Um, 
but it's only Wednesday. There's still a whole lot of hunting left, so. We still haven't had the, the weather we want yet we either. Still have it, no. <laughs> Starts tomorrow? Starts tomorrow, yeah. From Thursday on, it should be, at least wind-wise, will be lower temperature. We've had uh, 15 mile an hour winds. And then some, yep. oh, yesterday. Yeah. It was gusty. Today they're calling for 10 to 15 again. It's misty out. We're getting into them still. We're getting into them still, so yep. a moose every day so far. Yeah, it's just Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, by this point, people are getting sick. And, oh my God, we're not getting one. It's like there's still four days left to hunt, and it happens. I mean, you look at yesterday, it happens so quick. Yeah. That it just, uh, if it takes us till Saturday, it takes us till Saturday. Yeah. It just is what it is. Hopefully, it doesn't take us till Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to get home and unwind. Hey. I'm here for the long haul. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it digs till Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun. Can you imagine how much hooting and hollering we do if we go on Saturday. Yep. He's pretty wide. That was an awesome morning. So, uh, we don't know. In our heads it was a shooter, but in reality it probably wasn't. But um, nice bull come in, snuck in on us. We learned a good lesson about setting up, being ready as if you are gonna call a moose in, because you couldn't hear him grunt, can't hear him walking. So, we learned a lesson, came close. Joe and I both saw it. Nice, pretty bull. Younger bull, but a nice bull. Actually had some palms, which was good to see, so. I don't know, we're gonna eat lunch, maybe take a nap, and get after her this afternoon. <laughs> Actually wasn't a bad day, but we thought it was going to be, so we made it hard. <laughs> but the last two days were brutal. Today really does actually feel like opening day. There's zero wind. It's a hard frost. It's upper 20s. 
supposed to only be like a six mile an hour wind. Just everyone's got a really good attitude. So um, I'm not screwing around. The last few days we had some bulls come in real shy. So I put the ball up and I got my 30 on six. I don't want to. Uh, no stout. I don't want to uh, risk them being shy and not wanting to get beat up and not coming in and committing and ruining an opportunity. So got the rifle out and we're gonna blast one if we see him. And also my my expectations have dropped slightly. So if he's got palms, he's in trouble. Oh. What's the plant? Is it the little green? Yeah, the green. Thing. Okay, cool. There's a ton of them on the ground. Ow, that hurt my feelings. What do you think? Tired. Yeah, we're gonna have lunch. Okay. Refuel. A sunny spot in the map. Oh. 
Balls. Hey, good job. That was cool. We're getting close. No horns. Just sticking out. Yeah. Yeah, just the breeze is a little brisk. Last day. Never in a million years did I think I'd say that. <laughs> it's been an awesome week. We've seen a handful of moose, not a lot of moose, but going for broke today. We're gonna go into some spots that we've had a potential shooter in on uh, Wednesday and blew it. We're just gonna call real real soft. We're not gonna do anything loud. We've had not a single response all week. So we're just gonna slow play it, grunt real soft, nothing super aggressive, just to see if one will poke his head out. But we're shooting any bull today, so that makes the odds a little bit better. <laughs> He's big. He's all right. I see him. I see him. He's down. He's down. He's all right. He's down still. He's wobbling. It's a big one, fellas.
Jeff, if you come to your right, you'll get a better angle for one for one person in case it gets up. He's right there. See him? Yep. He's he's still he's, he's alive. Time to get up. What are you down? It's a big one. See him, Jeff? That's a big oh, one. Thank you, Lord. Oh, man. Got him in the first hour, buddy. Yeah. Of the last day. <laughs> <laughs> this is not great. I, I just... Uh... I cannot believe this worked out. I cannot believe it. So happy. Yep. The, the doubt... That Look at that friggin' palm. The doubt that goes through your mind, you know? We were good, though. Look at that. Oh, look at look that. that. Look at that. That is cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. That is freaking cool. Unbelievable. Dream bowl. 19 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19. Did you count them before the shot? No. <laughs> Double rack almost. Double yeah. palm. Uncle George got one like that too, didn't he? I think so. Yeah. Holy, oh, look how thick he is. No. That's a 20 pound antler on that side. Yeah. Look at the brow points though. Like he's, yeah, he know. is prime. He is, yeah. he is, oh he's my God. Prime. Yeah. Maybe. Well, you can do it. Doesn't it? Do it. <laughs> what a freaking <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's so freaking uh, flat. Yeah. You were here with us. Oh, my man. God. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Oh. I was so, like, oh, well. I was at peace with it. Yeah. Honestly, I was like, it was an awesome. We did the right thing. We had chances at bulls. I just told him this morning. I didn't regret any of them. Like, I, I didn't look back and say, man, I wish I would have shot that fork. You know, it was like, I was... Mm -hmm. Perfectly content with not getting a moose. Remember all the dock spots we looked at? Mm -hmm. I saw that and knew. Yeah, yeah, because we've been by this yep. for we. Him, Dad, and I walked up this one. Did you really? Did. And it was awful. It was terrible. <laughs> Eight twenty-seven, last day Saturday. Honestly, we haven't been in the moose. We've seen seven of them, but um, just every every it. spot was a good spot, but it just wasn't. I'm like all of us had the same feelings every time we went into a spot like this is we're gonna kill the moose and the only reason we came into this road today was because it's the last day and we're going to grab a trail camera I have on a winter road <laughs> <laughs> but you're in a good area yeah it's a good area <clears throat> I mean I guess we would have come in here anyway because we were going to a place where dad found a, a set off a bully called the matches um, Look at that mass. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got you to stay positive. It just, it literally takes seconds. We hunted hard, put four plus miles on a day through the timber. I don't consider this like the ideal moose hunt as far as how I would want it to go down, but um, I will take it. Yeah. And we honestly, we'd be <laughs> just as happy day. if that was a spike bull. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, <laughs> but the fact that he's not, we're even happier. Yeah. The fact that it's an, an upper class oh, yeah. bull moose in zone four is yeah. awesome. And guys, if you're October moose hunting, it's a lot different ball game than the September hunt. Don't give up. Do not get negative. Don't give up. Get yourself with people that'll stay positive and it just one second is all it takes. That's that is the biggest thing is a get everybody wants this to be a big party hunt and I get that. 
Um, you want all your buddies to experience it, but get a group of people that have a great mindset. My wife was here, Joe, my dad. Honestly, I couldn't have, I couldn't have picked a better group of people to be with. <clears throat> Keeping, having everyone that just keeps you up, because as the hunter and the tag holder, you get down. You try to do it secretly so that you're not affecting everybody else. But to have people that are like, no, we'll, we'll get one. Next, next bend, we'll, there'll be one. Just the, that mentality is huge. Yeah, our mindset was to call like we would do in September or early, early October. And one of the things we're going to check out when we get internet service is post rut. How to hunt a moose in post rut. Yeah, he's yeah. just in a feeding bay now. Yeah. Like no, September's no cows around. Pretty figured out. But yeah, post rut thing. We we learned a good lesson on this hunt. After yeah. seeing this bull, I'm only doing October from now on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just yeah. driving. Can you imagine? <laughs> I know. If I found that, you'd dream about oh, that. Oh, wouldn't you? Yeah. You would dream about this yeah. bull if yeah. you found that side. Look at that side. It's a matching set too. Yeah, it is. Both, yeah. We found both sets right here, both sides. <laughs> Every day was the day, and then it was really the day. <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't get cheated. Yeah. I'm so glad this wasn't the first 15 yeah. minutes. I know. We've been just as happy, but yeah. we had an awesome week. Birds everywhere. No, it honestly made it better because of how hard we worked, yeah. in my opinion. You know, I, I, I often, uh, oh boy, it's just it's really not going to happen, you know. And then I say, it could happen any second, you know? So it's, you gotta think that way because until the end, until it gets dark, that last day, this is what could happen. We woke up every day just thankful we could hunt. Yeah. I still have chills. Yeah. Yeah. We tried so, we hunted so hard. Yeah. And we tried to, do it like we did in September, you know. And we walked miles, miles and miles in the places where they were, but just would not answer a call. Not one grunt nope. when we called. And we tried grunting, we tried cow calls, tried quiet, tried loud, and not one reaction. Although we did have some bulls come in yeah. that didn't sound off yeah and early they heard us. Yeah. we come in and it was a nice nice bull we we uh, passed up on because truthfully I mean this was Jeff's goal was to get a nice bull and he did and you'll see this in the shop I'm hoping this goes in the shop in his taxidermy shop yeah for sure yeah peak taxidermy He'll uh, have this on, on display for sure. Give other people inspiration to yep. walk into a shop of what can happen. Yeah, see, he was chewing cod. You see the green in his mouth? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> All right, guys. If you've made it this far, thanks for tuning in. Absolutely amazing week. <laughs> amazing hunt. I just want to let you guys know, you know, if you're on one of these hunts and it's tough, you know, we're five weeks after the rut, after the rut started. We're late October and it's, uh, it's been a tough week, not going to lie. We've hunted super hard, you know, putting on eight to 15 miles a day on boots, doing a lot of calling, which was either on deaf ears or, or, um, might've been being negative scaring them away at this point five weeks after the rut but we kept a super positive attitude we were incredibly grateful that every morning we could wake up and go hunting for moose you know that's not everybody can say that and it's very rare to have a, a tag and have this opportunity that we have so we're we, we're blown away beyond words and you know, we were moving spots and about, oh, five minutes before these guys shot that moose, I was thinking, you know, the editor and videographer in me was coming thinking, all right, how am I going to make this into an episode that people want to watch that could help people 
without having something dead at the end of it you know like who wants to watch a moose hunt without a moose killed i know a lot of you guys would because because um just because of how we should, how we do stuff but i was thinking that and i was like yeah i have an episode i have a great episode of showing how you can be successful on a hunt without killing something the success of a hunt does not rely on if something dies or not or how big that something is that dies it's how you how you go at it you know how your attitude is how you work with the guys around you how you figure things out you know how you work hard and how you learn as an outdoorsman and a hunter and that's what we did all week every single day every day we got up it was great to see each other in the morning and it was just you know we couldn't be happier you know and all of us the dark the dark thoughts intrude with every single one of us at some point you know last night or yesterday about two o'clock they were coming in on me like oh man i got so much to do i kind of wish he would have shot one of them earlier ones but or or you know are we going to get one are we going to see one is this hunt you know unsuccessful but then you got to go back to, to to what your original thoughts are on what you think is a success or not so to me i just went back to you know are we working hard are we working as a team are we learning you know are we giving it our best effort are we staying within the game laws are we being ethical hunters you know those are the thoughts that were coming into my head and i said yeah we we are and i'm with the right group of people and and it is a successful hunt no matter what falls and then this is just the top on it you know if this was a spike bull it wouldn't be any different success wise you know but it just so happened to be it's an absolute smasher trophy <laughs> yep and i couldn't couldn't ask for a better group of guys to hunt with i hope if you guys are going on a hunt and an october hunt you get a group like these guys and you know and if you if you're tuesday wednesday thursday into it you guys start freaking out or or you, you if somebody's negative in the group just straighten them out and just say look it could honestly happen in two seconds and that's what happened for us and you know being positive and 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 not being rotten you know driving around or or hunting in the woods being rotten thinking no there's nothing out there that's a bad attitude to have you know staying positive staying upbeat and 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 always having that hope is is a much better way to hunt in my opinion yeah and we appreciate joe holland he's uh that's why jeffrey invited him because he's a true hunter true woodsman and uh we'd rather have no one else but him with us it's yeah. really really good and i'm honored to be on this hunt best moose hunt i've ever been on really yep, yep. Yeah. by far that's, that's good to hear yeah. it was yeah. tough it was tough it was that's, tough that's what's good about it yeah i know because so, we did work hard. i'm so glad this was the last day and not the second day or the first day yeah we did work hard yeah